Yeah, a crazy guy on the left attempts to assassinate President Trump, and the left blames President Trump. You can't make this up. But the left has a template. The left will tell a lie. They'll say, oh, President Trump's this, this, and this, and they'll use all these crazy words. Big media reports the lie. Big tech amplifies the lie. And then when you tell the truth, they attack you. They call us racist or some other crazy name. That's their template. And by the time we prove it, that you know what we say is true, they're already on to the next lie. But what, what strikes me that's so amazing about this whole thing is President Trump's response. I talked to him Sunday after this ordeal. He was as determined as ever to win the, this election, get back to the White House, and put America back on the path we deserve to be on. I mean, in light of what he's been through, spying on his campaign, Hillary Clinton, you had her on, spying on his campaign, then it was the Mueller investigation, then impeachment, then they raid his home, four indictments, 14th Amendment, every gag order, everything, and then two assassination attempts, everything they've done to him, and yet, he is fighting the good fight, because he loves this country. And I think that message is getting through well, let loud me ask and clear you to the voters across this country. Did Kamala Harris, after the burning down of the police precinct in Minneapolis, four days later when she tweeted out a bail fund to help get those people involved in this out of jail, was she supporting rioting and insurrection? Uh, was she supporting rioting and insurrection when she went on with Colbert and said, the rioters are not going to stop, they shouldn't stop, and we're not going to stop? Uh, was she ever held accountable for supporting rioting and insurrection? Did Liz Cheney no. or anybody in investigate the 574 riots she was offering aid and comfort to? No, of course, of course not, because they defined it as peaceful protest. Again, the left tells a lie. The media reported it as, as that. Peaceful. Big Tech amplified it and censored it. That's what they called it, peaceful protest. So, yeah, that was all part of the, another example of the left lying to us. Of course she wasn't held accountable for that. Yeah, two dozen dead Americans, 574 riots, thousands of injured cops hit with bricks, rocks, bottles, Molotov cocktails, yep. and billions in property damage, and her running mate opening up the windows to his home so he can smell burning rubber rather than call on the National Guard. That's peaceful. I just don't understand yeah. the definition of the term, apparently.